from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. Who is this Tom guy? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. Fear the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. The Tom Likas Show, powered by Knight Rider, an original two-hour movie event, Sunday night, February 17th at 9, 8 central, only on NBC TV. It's like is 101, the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Let's say hello here on this Valentine's Day of Like is 101 to Armando. Armando, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, well, I get home from school today and I get a phone call from my ex-girlfriend now saying she wants nothing to do with me because she found out something from my brother. And my dad's consoling advice, he's a big fan of your show, comes home, sees me outside in the backyard, and he's like, oh, we got to call Tom. And here I am calling you. Uh, are you a student here on Like It's 101? No, I'm not. First timer. Okay. Uh, well, here at Like Us 101, we don't believe at your age you should have a girlfriend. Really? We start with that. Uh, what is it? That, what is it? This girl said she found out about you. Um, just something that when she found out about a time me and my brother and my friend hung out, and I didn't tell her about it, and she said, "Oh, now you're back to lying to me and stuff." But this is a long well. You see, this this is why uh, you're too young to have a relationship. This is a lack of maturity, and I assume she's younger than you are even. Yes. This is a lack of maturity. Uh, you are two young people who are just not ready for a relationship. Uh, have fun, get laid, go out with your buddies, do what you want. Why do you need to be locked into one girl? But that's the thing, though. Is, that's what my dad doesn't understand either. I have another girl on the side right now. I, so you I, cheat. Not, wait, let me understand this. You cheat on your girlfriend. I don't cheat on, I find, a lot of times when we break up, I find someone else, I'll hang out with them, we'll go out, there's, there's plenty of other women, but there's one girl I always end up going back to. I, there's, there's something always about her where I'll drop everyone out of dime just for her, you know? Well, but but, but she, she's immature, and I mean, don't you think her uh, excuse for breaking up with you was, was rather immature? Yes, very. She's not prepared for a relationship, and neither are you, and I don't know why you need one. What are you Why are you so desperate? I don't feel desperate. It's you are desperate. She was there for me for a lot. You know, I went through a lot, and she was. There. Oh, what did you go through? Um, I know my mom's is listening right now, but I went through some sort of a drug problem. You know, and a drug problem. With, yes. What kind of a drug problem? Just me experimenting with stuff, and it got a little heavy, and my parents offered me a program that I went to for a little bit, you know? And at the time, I was expecting her to dump me right there and then, but she stuck around. To me, that meant a lot, you know? It doesn't mean anything, okay? It doesn't mean a thing. And by the way, why are you doing things like that? Now that I look back on it, I was stupid. Yeah, it was stupid. What what yeah. drugs were you experimenting with? Um, Coke and crystal meth. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah. Good work. What college do you attend, son? Uh, Mount Sac. That's a community college? Yes. Yeah. Why aren't you in a real college? Um, because throughout high school, I slacked off a lot and I listened to my dad. You listened to your dad? I didn't listen to my dad. Yeah, why not? Uh, I always felt that 
I don't know. Everything he told me I always wanted. I was very really rebellious. I didn't really want to follow through what he said. Yeah. Now, now it turns out maybe he knew a little something, doesn't it? Yeah. So you 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 slacked off in high school. You're going to community college at age twenty. At, you're experimenting with drugs. You don't, you don't need a girlfriend. You need to get your life together. What are you going to be when you grow up, son? Uh, I wanted to be a firefighter. And what are you studying in school? What was that? What are you studying in school? Right now, just general education, just to get my AA and then go to the fire academy. And why not college? Uh, I don't. I can't really say lack of interest because there's a lot of things that interest me, but I just don't see myself do it. You're too lazy and stupid to go to college? If you'd like to say that, I guess. Is that what it is? A little bit. A little bit? A lot of bit. A lot of bit. Experimenting with crystal meth and cocaine, slacking off in high school. Sounds lazy and stupid to me. Yep. Mm hmm. So, what is your question, son? Uh, well, I want to call in. I called in about the girlfriend issue. Um, the whole drug thing that's in the past, that's like five months ago. I Ooh, randomly... five whole months ago. Ooh. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Uh, parents are on top of me. I check in with them a lot, you know? They're making sure I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and I am. And when everything goes well and everything's going good right now, then the girlfriend leaves me. And then I'm over here stuck in a hole. You, you know what? Yeah, like, a girlfriend is a distraction. You need to put your nose to the grindstone, son, and work your ass off. All right. That's what you need to do. Like towards school or just on my personal being? Both. All right. You already allowed yourself to be distracted in high school, and it ruined your chances of going to a real college, didn't it? Yeah. Why are you going to repeat that? I didn't see it that way. See it that way now? Yeah. Do you see it that way now? Yeah. You've been wasting your time, son. Your window of opportunity to be whoever you want to be, to find any dream you want to find, to live it like I do, is closing rapidly. Why would you allow that to happen? Honestly, I've never really thought about it till now. Think about it. You made me feel like a complete idiot, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I needed that. Yes, you did. And you still do. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see it. There's a reason your dad told you to call me, of all people. Why is that? Because I know what your problem is. What is that? You're lazy and stupid, and you're wasting your time. It's funny. I choose not to listen to my dad, and then everyone else other than my dad says the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that as a red flag there, Armando? Yeah. Maybe my dad isn't so wrong anymore. Yeah. Armando, let me tell you a little story about my life, okay? Huh? I pray there's more guys like you. Do you know why? Why is that? Because when I go to the supermarket, I need someone to put my groceries in a bag. And it's guys like you who do it. Ever hear those ads for the 1995 oil change every 3,000 miles on the radio? Yeah. Who do you think puts the oil in my car? Guys like me. Guys like you. And you want to know something? When I go to Staples Center and I'm going to that $50 valet parking, there's always somebody who takes my ticket from me. You know what, who, you know what kind of guy that is? Guys like me. Right, went to community college and goofed off in high school. Ever been in a parking lot and there's the guy with the orange coat on waving you to, to go park at another level? Yeah. Yeah, he's one of yours too. I don't want to be like that. 
that's you. That's where you're going. Ever been to a, like a shopping mall and somebody's handing out coupons? Check it out. Check it out. People are annoying. That's one of yours. So I'm in this large group of people. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. are filled with just nothing. Oh, are you kidding me? When I need my shoes shined, I'm counting on some guy who had a girlfriend. He got pregnant when he was 19 or some guy who was uh, tweaking when he was in high school. Because those are the guys who get that work done. When somebody comes to paint the numbers on, on, on my curb outside my house, <laughs> who do you think does that? Road scholars? No, it's guys like you. What do you suggest I do there? I, I'm calling you for advice. You tell me what I got. Go to get your <laughs> ass. You're telling me the same thing that you are now. I was dumb enough not to listen to my dad. I'm listening to you. You made me realize a few things right now. What do you suggest I do? I, I suggest you go get uh, the 4.0 grade point average in community college, and you follow that up with a real college. Sounds like a plan. I'll call you back for an update then. I'll be waiting. Thank you, Tom. All right, Armando. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, and good luck to you. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. I called you, and you let me know that I was a loser because I was paying for my girlfriend's college education while I was going to a lesser school. I dumped that bitch the next day. She was so confused, and I just told her, like it's 101, baby. <laughs> That's like Zorro making the sign of the Z before he leaves. That's great. It's like his 101 on the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show, Likas 101, Valentine's Day edition at 1-800-5800-TOM. Logan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? I couldn't hear you over the music, sorry. <laughs> um, well, I just wanted to call and say, first of all, that I think your show is really good, and I agree with a lot of the stuff that you say. Um, but... When you said earlier that you don't think that women have an opinion about politics and government, um, I don't agree. Um, and my reason for that is that I actually work for the government. So I obviously have to know something about the government in order to work there. Well, but wait a minute. I, I never used the word all. There are exceptions to every rule. As I always say, there's be a, there'll be a man who falls out a 10-story window and survives. Yeah. Most don't. And I agree. You know, I agree that there are a lot of women out there that are pretty stupid and uh, just try to get by on their looks and skate through life not doing anything. And as but, a man, thank God for them. Well, <laughs> yeah, for the men. But anyways, I just wanted to say that, you know, there are some women out there that have opinions and they are smart and they, you know, I don't spend my life trying to look for a guy or, well, I mean, I don't date guys anyways, but... Um, you know, I don't try to spend my time trying to find somebody to be with or anything like that. I just live my life for myself, and that's about it. Yeah, well, our students want to get laid, and they're not looking to have political discussions with women. And uh, while, again, remember, I'm not saying the word all, I feel stupid having to give that disclaimer because it's it's pretty obvious. Most women uh, who know about politics are not that attractive. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be the first person to say that I'm attractive, but <laughs> I'm not trying to be, so. I mean, but are you or not? Some people say I am, but I'm not I'm not ugly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, put it this way. I, I, are there a lot of Sports Illustrated swimsuit models where you work? <laughs> no. Playboy Playmates? Nope. Maxim Girls? Nope. That's my point. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to, you know, I'm just trying to tell other people, too, because, you know, like I said, there's some stupid people that listen to your show as well. And Yes, don't. but what I'm saying is, you know, it's kind of Darwinian. It all takes care of itself. If a woman is really attractive, she won't be into politics anyway. 
Okay. I never said all women don't know anything about politics. The hotter a chick is, the less likely it is she cares about politics. I agree. So chicks who know a lot about politics are generally at the other end of the attractiveness scale. Okay. But I never said all women. Never. Okay. Your knowledge of your knowledge of politics is inversely proportional to your attractiveness. Okay, I agree. Very good. Thank you, dear. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Samantha on Lagos 101. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I kind of have to say I really disagree with most of the things that you say about women, how we have low self-esteem. and I didn't say all women have low self-esteem. I said attractive women have low self-esteem. How is so? What do you mean, how so? How does it mean that people or women with low self-esteem are going to go get drunk tonight to have sex with Jump. some random guy? Oh, well, darling, you're not even old enough to get into a bar, so how would you know what's at the bar? I'm just saying, you're saying that women with low self-esteem are going to go get drunk tonight and have sex, and then with the guys thinking that they're going to be able to have sex with no anything, no attachment. Right. Uh, tonight's the night to get that. Yeah, but you think a guy, you're teaching men to go have sex with women and with no attachments. And right. Well, well they, they, they already, uh, guys already want to do that. They just need some guidance on how, and I tell them how to do it. Why You're saying all guys are trying to do that. No, I never said all guys. I imagine that most Catholic priests aren't trying to do it. Uh, Mormon missionaries but are probably not trying to do it. Gay men are probably not trying to do it. So, no, it's not all guys. Young men that are, like, in their 20s, what makes you think that most of them want to get laid by different girls? Let's and start with the success of my radio show. We're number one with men. Number one. That's because you're telling them stuff. I don't, you, yeah, you're making money by saying this stuff. Yeah, I just, so everybody on the radio is making money by saying whatever they're saying. Does it mean that everything that you say is right? Well, it works. and We've heard from thousands of men who've called in here and thanked me for helping them. Helping them with what? In the end, they're not going to have anything. We're not talking about we're not talking about relationships. We're talking about getting laid. Anybody who's in a relationship knows who knows the difference between getting laid and having a relationship. Yeah, that's stupid. What is stupid? To think that, like, all girls are there for it, is to get laid, that they have no opinions and that there's no... Oh, I'm not saying they don't have opinions. I'm saying we don't want to hear your opinions. How would you know that? What do you mean, how would I know that? Number it's one, you've got a vagina, and number two, yeah. you're speaking. That's how I know that. You have... Yeah, you don't know if... What everything we say is stupid. I don't really not. care to find out. What I want is your vagina. That's ridiculous. Why? <laughs> because you shouldn't think, you think that that's all women are there for. What's wrong with that? There's a lot of guys who feel that way. And there's many guys that don't. All right, that's fine. Where are they now? I don't know. It's my point, dear. Okay. I just disagree with a lot of things that you have to say. I mean, if you know so much, why aren't you in a relationship and living happily ever after? Because uh, you're not every single girl wants to be in a relationship, but not every single girl wants to be having sex with different guys every night. Darling, look, the, the fact is, and I can tell from the tone and tenor of this conversation, that you are either fat or fugly. You definitely have a problem uh, having relationships with guys. And that is why you're so bitter and angry and calling in like this. I'm not bitter or angry. I just have an opinion. I see. Are you a swimsuit model? No. I'll bet you're not. Okay. So you're not the kind of woman that most of our guys would want anyway. See, it takes care of itself. 
You don't want to be with guys like the ones who, who study like as 101. And they don't want to be with you. It's perfect. Okay. Wow. By the way, attractive women are never offended by what we do. How so? You're saying what do you mean how every, so? I made a simple statement woman, of fact. No, you're saying every woman that's attractive isn't offended. Yeah, I, I ask them all the time when attractive women call in, and they tell me. Because they're ditzy and dumb. Thank God. So they're not going to notice when I'm sliding their panties off. What do you think, I want to sleep with Albert Einstein? You don't want to be with a woman that's smarter than you? No. Actually has brains? Oh, there are plenty of women smarter than me. I just don't want to have sex with them. Yeah, because you know that they don't want to have sex with someone like you. But then see, again, it works out perfectly. The hot, dumb, and ditzy, that's fine with me. Okay. And by the way, most guys. Yeah, most, not all of them. Well, you ask how many guys want to have sex tonight with Jessica Simpson. Oh, well, it's not going to happen, so there's no point. Darling, that's not the point. That is uh, the idol of most well, young of men today. I would want to. What? Of course, a guy would want to. Most most young men want to have sex with somebody like that. Okay. Not an expert in politics. You don't have to be an expert in politics. Not an expert in anything other than uh, sucking the chrome off a trailer hitch. <laughs> Well, like I said, I ha I disagree with a lot of the things that you say. Well, you could disagree with it all, I, dear. But if you were attractive, you wouldn't you would not object. I think it's ridiculous. What's ridiculous? To have a talk show about how you should just have sex with a woman and then not have anything to do with her again. Well, guess what? The reason this show is on is because it's number one in men. Listen to any break in the show. We are, show, we are chock full of commercials. Just because your show is good doesn't mean that we are saying it's good. Well, that's why it's on. It's on because it's good. Thank you for admitting that. It's on because it's good. It's, it gets ratings because it's good. It makes money because it's good. I wasn't... And that's why it's on the air, because it's good and it makes money. <laughs> okay, well... What station is your show on again? On? What station is your show on? I don't have a show and I don't need to have a show. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what they all say when they don't have anything. Okay. You don't need to have a talk show. By the way, what college are you attending, sweetie? I'm not in college. <laughs> Why not? You're 18 years old. Because I don't need to be. Don't oh, have... you don't. You're so smart. You don't need college. I didn't say that. So why why don't you need college? Not at the moment. I'm not in college. I'm choosing not to be at the moment. Why not? Because I'd rather have a time off for a little bit. Oh, uh, so you're lazy. Uh huh. So then you have an eight dollar an hour job, do you? I work full time. Doing what? I work at Albertson's. That's very fulfilling, sweetheart. Okay. Just and you're just time. like the guy who called in earlier. You know, you're the type. I'm so glad there are unmotivated, uh, lazy individuals like yourself. How am I unmotivated individual when I know what I'm going to be doing? But just because what are you I'm going to be doing? I want to become a social worker when I'm older. You want to, why? Because you've received welfare your whole life? No. I've never had welfare. And I'm never uh. going to. So what made you decide to become a social worker? Because I'm interested in working in that kind of field. And I think it'd be a nice job to have. You know nothing about it. 
That's why you go to school to learn about it. Yeah, but you're not going to school. You're at Albertsons going boop, 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 boop all day long. Okay, well, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be going to school. Yeah, when, when do you think that's going to be starting? In the fall. Ah, I see. Have you registered? Not yet. Been accepted? I haven't done anything for it yet. I'll bet you haven't. And what school are you planning on attending? OCC. OCC. The 13th grade. What? The 13th grade. The senior year in high school is the 12th grade. Now you're going to go to the 13th grade. Okay. You're going to go to a community college, which is just like it's high school. It's high school for, hmm? How is going to a community college for two years and then transferring to a college, a four-year college? How what, four, what four-year college will you be transferring to after two years at community college? I'd like to go to Cal State Long Beach. Uh-huh. Well, why not attend it for four years? I'd rather go to a community college. Because you're lazy and unmotivated. <laughs> okay. And you would, yeah, you of all people would know that. Oh, I oh, would. I mean, it it shows. You're sitting, you're sitting on your ass all day talking to people. On sitting the- on my ass making a seven. Hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Are you that ignorant? You're just jealous that you can't go to the radio station and make this kind of money. <laughs> I'm definitely not jealous of you. Oh, yes, I know, because you find working at Albertson so fulfilling. It's better than not having a job at all. Yeah, I'm sure that's the choice you have, for God's sake. Tom. 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 Tom like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. This is my Sunday theory. It's delicious as soon as you get it. Leave it out in the sun for a few hours and see if you still want to eat it, because that's what happens to a hot chick over time, okay? It becomes a big mess, okay? It gets all over you. It's in your hair. It's a mess. It's on your clothes. And you don't know what to do about it anymore, you know? Just throw everything away. Just don't do it. Just break If you have a girlfriend that you feel like you love her so much, dump her. Dump her today. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. At one 800 800 tom That is our telephone number. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. It's Valentine's Day. What better time to be in the Likus 101 classroom? Amelia on the Tom Likus show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Good. I have a question for you about what you think hmm, attractive women who do know about politics and are smart. How do men react? Do they not want them? I was kind of wondering your opinion on that. We just don't want to talk about politics with you. We're not intimidated by it. We just don't want to hear it from you. Really? Really? So that you don't think there's any enjoyment with having a stimulating conversation with an attractive woman? No, because when you argue about something like politics... Well, you don't have to argue about politics. It ends up being an argument, believe me. Okay. What about, like... For instance, fields of study, like not even things that could be confrontational. We're like, not interested so, in that. You, you don't understand. So uh, you're, a blow you up, you're a human blow-up doll for us. No, Think along those lines. I don't lines. believe it. Well, you don't want to believe it. and You have a hard time looking yourself in the face uh, or looking yourself in the mirror uh, knowing that's the case. But in reality, that's how we feel. So what would you suggest we talk to you about in the bar if, Nothing intelligent is what you want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? We want to we, we want to talk about when we're going to have sex next. With when, us, how, wanna, where? That uh, seems like guy conversations. That's not something a guy usually says to a girl at a bar. We don't we don't have sex with guys. 
Well, I mean, like the sex topic, that's not usually something a guy brings up right when he meets you at a bar, you know? Oh, you mean when we meet you at a bar? Yeah, I, mean, I just... It's, all, know, it's all about, darling, it's all about small talk. We only talk to you because that's the price of admission to your vagina. So if I'm smarter than you and you know it, it's like a total turn off. I'm just... I, here's the thing. You can be as smart as you want. Well, be a, I mean, you can be the president. You can be the president of Mensa, okay? I just don't want to talk to you about that stuff. Okay. Even if I'm beautiful. Especially if you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough. That's how it is. And women oh. love to say we're intimidated. They love to find reasons why we're intimidated. We're not intimidated. We just don't oh. want to listen to that. Okay. So, all right, I don't know. That scares me. Why? Because I think that there are a lot of guys out there that are interested in not only the sex and the looks, but what, once they see that in the girl, I think a lot of men are intrigued by intelligence and find it sexy. You know, I don't think it's necessary. I'm telling you off. the men who find that sexy are 50 and up. <laughs> All right. I don't Date older so. men. No, too young for that. Well, I'm telling you, guys your age don't want to talk about politics or or anything intellectual. Huh. That's not what we're there for. Oh, but what, I mean, you have to admit some men do like, and sex is one part of it, but it's not all of it. Not for every guy. That's too big of a general. Well, opinion. I never use the word all. There's exceptions well, to every know, rule. But even most. I know you can't build happen. your life around the exceptions to the rule. That's true. We should be following the social patterns. I agree. But that's not, I think that... So if you want to talk about intellectual pursuits, take them up with your college professor or your intelligent girlfriends. Yeah. All right, Tom. We'll see. I think one of these days we'll meet and you'll want to talk about politics with me. And Not until I've so seen you naked. Hmm. Okay, so if, if and then you agree that men will enjoy stimulating conversations if they're your girlfriend or you're dating them. I'm not saying I'd enjoy it, but I would certainly entertain it. Okay. You could enjoy it. Well, uh, until I put my face in your cleavage, it's okay. never going to happen. All right. Well, we'll see. All right, we will see. One day we'll meet, I guarantee. Well, I'll just run into you somewhere. Uh-huh. And I'll tell you, you'll know who I am. I'm going to be famous one day, so we'll have to run into each other. What are you going to be famous for? Acting. Ah, I see. Yeah. So. What do you look like? Are you at least attractive? Yeah. You have to be in this industry or you don't have a chance. What do you look like? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm half Greek, half Italian. Um, slender, taller. All right. <laughs> oh, you just walk that right over here. Yeah. Well, I'll meet. And we'll talk politics. Sounds good to me. After I have sex with you. Mm, fat chance. Well, but fat chance I'll discuss right? politics with you. Well, you never know. You never know. We'll see. I'm telling you, unless I've had sex with you, we will never discuss politics. What if I brought it up to you and you thought that potentially if you listened to me, you could have sex with me after? Ah, uh, because I know you're jerking my chain. Huh. I might be better than you, though. You might not know. Right? Uh, I mean... Darling, trust me. <laughs> All right. First, I get what I want, and then I'll give you what you want in return. You just haven't met your match. Darling, you have met your match. Maybe not. But that doesn't mean you've met yours. Well, believe me, after we've had sex, and it's incredible, then and only then will I discuss politics with you. <laughs> wow, Tom, it's a changing world, you know? Women are running for presidents. It's going to eventually not be like that. I'll be dead by then. 
No, no, you won't. It's a social revolution we're having. Things are changing. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. I see the social revolution. Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, Britney's slutty Barack sister. Obama, Hillary Clinton. Those are two examples as well. So the, uh, darling, if you, ask, if you ask the average woman what they know about Barack Obama, or what they know about Lindsay Lohan, I think you know the answer. Yeah. I think you know what women care about, and it mostly isn't politics. Maybe not uneducated Hollywood socialites, but... Darling, all we care about is getting laid. All right, well... Get a clue. Huh. I guess I'll go out tonight with a little different perspective on my shoulder. Just remember, any man who's talking to you is imagining that he has x-ray eyes and he's seeing you <laughs> naked. Oh, you're going to ruin tonight for me. That's okay. how it is. Uh, we try to see nips. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You shall see. Yeah, you shall see. I shall see. They're out there, the different ones. You just have to wait and be patient for them. Yeah, well, well, good luck on that, darling. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, Tom. I just wanted to tell you my game plan for tonight. I'm going to go to one of these dive bars by my house around 12, 1230 and pick up one of the sorry-ass girls who got left behind because I'm a one-on-one -on -one student, and any guy out there who isn't single and is just kissing ass to his girlfriend right now needs to get with the program and DTB. That's exactly right. And I'm telling you, you will get laid tonight. You will. Oh, oh I know. I did it last year, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna do it again. And by the way, I told you some of the other nights get laid. Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving. Right. I mean, uh, any any family holiday. Exactly. Any guy my age, Tom, I'm 23 years old. Every guy out here needs to be listening to you. Because you give the best advice and you tell it like it is. I just want to say thank you very much. I've been listening for four years. This is my third time calling. And could you please take me out the most tasteless style there is? Lacey Peterson, baby. Okay, here you go. Hammer. Hey. Hammer. Hammer, Mr. Peterson. Let's go to Eddie on Like Us 101. Hello. All right, let's go to Matt on Like Us 101. Tom, how are you doing tonight? I'm great. I, my head hurts from you talking with all these idiots. <laughs> I don't know. How, how do you do it? I've got millions of reasons to keep doing it. Do you, well, well, no. And they're all green. <laughs> Do you take your headset off while they talk and then someone gives you a signal and you can put it back on? Uh, no, no. I, I hear every every second of this show. Jeez, uh, I couldn't. I, I, earlier when you were talking that fat and fugly chick, the one that said she worked at Albertsons? Yes. I almost turned the dial. You know, you could tell how she looked just by hearing her voice. Yeah. And working at Albertsons, I, she's missing some teeth. <laughs> it, I, it, I, it makes my head hurt. I don't is, there a su is there a supermarket with hot cashiers? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and, and if there is one, she's a lesbian. <laughs> There's no way you can get a hot cashier at Albertsons. <laughs> You can get a hot one, but she's got three teeth. <laughs> or three kids. Yes. <laughs> That's why she works at Albertsons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you take me out? Don't taste me, bro. All right, here you go. What did I do? Get off the no way Get off the fence, Get the f off of me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't taste me, bro. Don't taste me. I didn't do anything. The Tom Likas Show.